These aloof, prehistoric-looking mammals are related to sloths and anteaters. They always seem more interested in digging up things in the ground than what's going on around them. There are about 20 species of armadillos in the world, and some get their name from how many bands on their shell. When they curl up or roll up, their soft underbelly is less exposed to predators. This three-banded armadillo from Brazil can even go full circle, which the nine-banded can't do. The nine-banded has the largest range of any armadillo, extending from south-central U.S. to Argentina. Armadillos have poor eyesight, but an excellent sense of smell. Although they bumble along without much concern, if they get startled, they sometimes jump straight up and then hit the ground running, just like in the cartoons. The armor protects them against thorny vegetation as they crash through the understory, but it doesn't do much against hungry pumas, jaguars, and local folk, all of whom find its meat delicious. The nine-banded armadillo eats anything it can gobble down, like these earthworms, but also beetles, larvae, millipedes, centipedes, snails, eggs, fungi, fruit, and carrion. It seems they prefer to eat more ants and termites in the tropics than in North America. It's possible that the nine-banded armadillo evolved to eat ants and termites and then adapted to new food sources as its range extended northward. Its mouth is very similar to anteaters, which are highly evolved to eat ants and termites. One reason for their huge distribution is their ability to cross large rivers that normally block movement of so many other species. They can either inflate their stomach with air and swim across, or hold their breath and walk across the bottom of the river. They can hold their breath for six minutes, which must determine how wide of a river they can cross. Or maybe they can change strategies in mid-river. Armadillos den in a series of 12 or more burrows that they dig themselves and are constantly moving from one to another. One crazy adaptation of the nine-banded armadillo is the female's ability to delay implantation of the fertilized egg for three to four months. That might not be important in the rainforest, but as it extends its range northward, being able to give birth in the springtime is a good thing. Another weird thing is that once fertilized, the egg of the nine-banded armadillo divides twice to produce four embryos. So all the young ones here are identical, same-sex, little armadillos. Armadillos can live up to 15 years in captivity, but in the wild, a puma or a car tire usually kills them after four years or so. A third bizarre fact is that this armadillo is the only animal besides humans that can carry leprosy, which makes them very useful for medical research. It's good that they can hold their breath for so long. 